frequency. Today's topic is about emergency generator and its essential services on board ship. So on board we have main generators. We have one or two main generators and uh, with that, if there is more requirement of power, we go for auxiliary generators or standby generators. So it depends upon the power requirement, depends upon different ships. We have like a cargo general ships, it takes one megawatts of power supply is required. And if it is a tanker ship, it is from 1.5 to 5 megawatts. If it is a container ship or cruise liners, it requires some eight megawatts. And if it is a modern LNG, carrier, then it is going to be a 12 megawatts. So different requirements of power in different types of ships are there. So the main generator is providing the power supplies for all the electrical equipments. If the main power supply fails under any condition, for any reason, under any interruption, if the main supply is failing within some seconds, the emergency generator has to be on. So that is the uh, condition of the emergency generator. So the emergency generator will be providing for only certain essential services, which is required for the ship's safety as well as the person's safety. For the ship's safety, for the ship navigation, what is required? Only that is called as the essential service. So here we have the definition. When the main power supply fails, then the supply is directly taken over by the emergency generator. So normally the main generators will be running by this uh, uh, thermal uh, turbines or by a diesel engine. The emergency generators will be having prime movers. So the, the prime mover will start by an automatic operation whenever there is a failure in the power supply, whenever there is a failure in the voltage, an alarm deducts the failure in the voltage immediately within some seconds, emergency generator has to be on. This is the general thing for the safe of the ship, for the safe navigation and for the personal safety, the ship has to save. So the main electrical loads are divided into two types. One is called essential and non-essential load services. So essential, which is a priority, priority for the safety of the ship. The essential services are those required for the safety of person and safe navigation and propulsion of the ships. So these are the requirement essential services we have. So moving back to next slide, this is called a line diagram, which is showing for your essential service. So this line diagram is in the spotlight. Uh, this is this is a breaker. This we can take it as a breaker A. The breaker A is connected with the main switchboard. If main switchboard is failing, then the breaker A will get open. It will get disconnected. And breaker B, this is breaker B. This will get connected to the essential service. So this, this generator is called as an emergency generator. The breaker B will be connected to the emergency generator. So what is this interlock is? The interlock the lock is a locking system is to avoid simultaneous connection of both the breakers A and B. So breaker A is connected to the main switchboard. If main switchboard is failing, breaker A will get disconnected, will get open. And this breaker B, this breaker B, which is connected to the emergency generator will be in connection. So that will provide the power supply for 440 voltage and as well as for 220 volt. So normally the 440 volt is used for sprinkler pump, bilge pump, fire pump. So bilge pumps is to take the... Uh, recollect the oils and waters which is present on board and sprinkler pump, this K-L-E-R, sprinkler pump. So the sprinkler pumps are used for this. Uh, so this is to uh, deduct the fire. This is to deduct the fire and alarm and to extinguish the fire. So this is having a, a pressurized water pipes. So that is used in, in accommodation sites near to the tanker areas, near to the enclosed areas, sprinkler alarms, spring, sprinkler pipes. So sprinkler pipes, fire pumps, and fuel oil, and uh, we have emergency bilge pumps, then uh, all communication system, radio, radio communications, and the GPRS system, GMDS system, navigation aids, navigation uh, lighting systems. 
So all are essential service. So one supply is for 440 voltage, and we have also steering gear. Steering gear is for uh, maneuvering of the ship, for turning of the ship to the port side or starboard side, wherever we want to turn the ship. So that is the steering gear. So steering gear is all more most essential for the uh, safe navigation of the ship, uh, for the maneuvering of the ship. So this is 220 volt. This is the symbol representing of a transformer. This is a step down transformer, which is used for 440 voltage is stepped down to 220 voltage. So transformer is nothing but it is a static AC device, which is used to step down or step up the voltage. Here we are using it to step down voltage of 220 volt. And that is given to the navigation lighting system, radio communication and bridge equipments. Some of the bridge equipments, communication systems and under pirates also. So this is the line diagram which is representing. Also, one portion of the voltage is given to the rectifier. We all know that what is rectifier, the rectifier which is going to convert AC into DC. So to store power that is given to a 24 volt battery, battery is going to store the supply and under the failure of the emergency generator, it will light up the emergency lighting system in the accommodation. So the battery, we have two batteries, one battery here, one battery is here, one battery is here. So this battery will be giving for the uh, power supplies of uh, low voltage systems and uh, systems like low voltage systems. So uh, alarming systems, alarms and control systems. Alarms and control systems can be connected through these batteries. So this is a rectifier circuit, which is going to convert AC into DC. This is a simple line diagram, which is showing emergency generator, which is connected to the essential service. We have the next picture. We'll clear all, then we'll go for the next picture. So the interlock acts as a safety to prevent both the main supply and emergency supply breaker to close at a time. Simultaneously, both the breaker should not get closed. So that's why the interlock is provided. So essential services, as I said, it is of 440 volt and 220 volt. 440 voltage is for emergency fire pump, emergency bilge pump, fuel oil pump, priming pump, compressors, steering gear and sprinkler pumps and 220 volt is for bridge equipments, navigation lights and communication systems. So this is the a picture which is showing the emergency generator on board. So this is the picture of emergency generator. So that's it about the basic about what is the emergency generator and what the service it is going to provide. What is the essential service for the safe navigation of the ship? And for the personal safety, what are the services which is required, necessary? So that is what is seen from this topic. Thank you all for listening.